Church, today we're in 2 Timothy chapter 3, where Paul starts us off with some really hard truth. He says, but know this, hard times will come in the last days. It cannot be avoided. Um, many people believe we're living in the last days right now, and if we're not, certainly every day that passes is a day closer to those times. But listen to what he says uh, people will be like during those times. Lovers of self, lovers of money, boastful, proud, dis demeaning, disobedient to parents, ungrateful, unholy, and the list goes on. And I bet uh, for you and for me, it's not that hard to think right now in this world of people that sound like that. Um, but he has very strict instructions in one verse here as to how uh, we are to interact with those people. He says in verse five, avoid them, avoid these people. The warning is not to uh, avoid these people because they don't need to know the love of Christ. It's it's a warning to, to avoid them so you don't become like them. Uh, we don't wanna be like these people. Obviously in this life, there are people that uh, don't know Christ. You're gonna count on them every single day. and. And it's our job really to share the love of Christ with these people, but we don't wanna become like them. Um, and he goes on to talk about the false teachers and how uh, they have these false motives and they'll get into our houses and, and really just um, don't have our best interest in mind. And, and we need to do everything we can to avoid these people. Um, but he does also go on to tell Timothy uh, that, hey, you follow my teaching, my conduct, uh, purpose, faith, patience, love, and endurance. You've known about the persecutions that I, I have encountered, but you also know that God has given me a way out. Beautiful promise there, that through persecution, God does provide a way out. Matter of fact, uh, in this passage, uh, verse 12, we see a promise of, of God that is sometimes hard for us to understand. You see, promises of God, majority of them in the Bible, we want to latch on to them and and, and just cling to them and live by them. And that's what God and, and wants us to do. But here is another promise that it's, it's a little harder. It says, in fact, all who want to live a godly life in Christ Jesus will be persecuted. All of us. It's not only a, a certain group of Christians or this person or that person. No, the Bible tells us that we will all uh, face persecution for living for Christ. But if we go back to what Paul says, God's going to give us a way out in those times. He's with us. And that is such a, a great truth today. He also goes on to speak of the importance of scripture. And he says, and you know that from infancy, you have known the sacred scriptures, which are able to give you wisdom for salvation through faith in Christ Jesus. Why is it important to know scripture? Here it is. All scripture is inspired by God. It's profitable for teaching, for rebuking, for correcting, for training in righteousness, so that the man of God may be complete, equipped for every good work. Through this passage today, uh, we know this warning that the end times are coming, but it is so very important, Paul says, for us to know Scripture, to live our lives by Scripture. So important, and I challenge you today, just as you've taken this passage and you've taken this time with me today to, to dive into it a little bit, continue to make scripture a daily part of your life so that you will be able to live by it, that you will be able to be complete, that you will be able to be equipped for every good work.